Hi y'all, Tracy, Trials of a Long Haired Girl here. Um, decided that while we are all in this, you know, situation that we are in, wanted to focus on something a little more fun. Um, so I am going to try to start doing a Tag Tuesday, um, where I'm going to take some questions that I ran across years ago um, that a blogger used to post. Um, and I'm going to revisit some of those questions. Some of those I have never answered. Um, this particular set, oh, I'm wearing my, my Allen Life Chapel shirt. Um, this particular set of questions I actually answered on my blog um, eight years ago. So, um, okay. What is one of your favorite ways to spend a Saturday? Well, eight years ago, my answer was we spend our Saturdays meal planning and shopping for them beginning next week. The local farmer's market will be open every other weekend and I'm excited to go for the first time. Um, now, that really hasn't changed in eight years. Um, I actually try to do my meal planning by Friday um, and then we shop for them and run our errands to get whatever it is we need for the week. Um, it doesn't always work with this situation and the grocery stores not having various items. Um, we actually went to the store on Thursday trying to get dried beans and then wound up going to the store again yesterday um, and actually wound up finding some at our local Walmart. Um, so that, that has definitely, especially in this season right now, has kind of changed things. Um, but I still, even before all this happened, we would go to the grocery store typically on Saturday. Um, so I would have a, a general game plan of what we were doing for the week. Um, list your top three favorite TV shows. Um, at the time it was hard to narrow it down to three and I picked... Biggest Loser, Grey's Anatomy, and Private Practice. Two of the three, I no longer watch. Um, I still watch Grey's Anatomy, although I need to catch up on the episodes. But as I've already, as I cry over everything, pretty much, I think I mentioned that when it was the A Little of Everything tag, I think. Um, I cry at movies most people don't cry at as well as movies that they do. Um, however, I do still watch Grey's. Um, I also, I don't know, I'm not really sure it would fall among my favorites, but I mean, I did watch The Mandalorian pretty faithfully. Um, it was one of the shows I watched with my husband. And then, um, Gosh, I also watch the Chicago Trilogy TV shows. Um, well, I don't watch Chicago, what is it, Chicago Police. I don't watch that as often, um, but I'm pretty consistent about watching Chicago Fire and um, Chicago Med. Um, would you rather be in pictures or take them? Um, though my answer eight years ago was though I'm not crazy about the way that I look, I love to be in pictures. Um, okay. I'm going to be real honest. Usually anytime anybody points a camera at me, especially if I know they're pointing a camera at me, I smile. I smile big. I've been that way since I was a little girl. It's what happens. Um, so funny story. When I went to go get my passport um, before all of this happened, um, the woman went to take my picture. She points the camera at me, and I smile really big. She said, no, no smile, no smile. And I was like, I kind of chuckled, and I was like, that's kind of hard for me to do. And it took me a minute, but while I was still smiling a little bit, um, 
yeah, it was, it was kind of odd. Um, although I think maybe the reason that they say that is, um, because you're kind of grumpy when you're coming, you know, through customs after a, after a long trip, perhaps. So, you kind of get a little grumpy and you don't really have a happy face. So, maybe that's part of it. I don't know. Um, but I still, I kind of go back and forth while I'm still not entirely happy with the way that I look always. I do really enjoy, um, I enjoy being in pictures, especially with people that I love. Um, this question, I, I feel like I need to change it up a little bit. Um, why do you blog? And when I did this 12 years ago, it or sorry, eight years ago, it was that I started blogging because I want to hold myself accountable and remember where I started. But now my blog is part of me. If someone said you can't blog anymore, I think I'd fall apart. I'd like, I love to encourage and be encouraged. Um, and I'm going to change that question up a little bit. I actually, I started the vlog because I wanted to hold myself accountable. That's, you know, I mean, that's, that's the truth. Um, and when I was talking to Robbie at, for, over at Frankie Fit Wolf, he's the one who encouraged me to do this. And he's like, Tracy, it's going to hold you to a different level of accountability. And he's right. Um, I feel guilty when I don't have an opportunity to record and post. So, um, I do still, I, I feel like vlogging and blogging holds me to another level of accountability and I feel like I do better, um, when I'm more accountable to somebody else. Um, Share five websites that you visit regularly. Huh. Um, okay. Share five websites you visit regularly. What actually do I visit regularly? Um, okay. Facebook.com, WeightWatchers.com, um, Pinterest, Blog loving. And I think that's mostly it. I mean, I check my email and stuff like that on my phone. So, um, if you could have lunch with one person from your Twitter list, who would it be? Well, quite honestly, I'm not actively on Twitter anymore. So, I'm not sure who it would be. Um, list a few of your favorite snacks. Um, back then it was string cheese and apples, celery and peanut butter, carrots and hummus. Um, I, I do still like those, those snacks. Um, a lot of times now, especially like right now, when I am craving sweets, um, I found the... Simply Delish, I think is what it's called, pudding on Amazon, and I made that, that with a little bit of the almond milk ready whip, makes a very tasty snack. It's not big, it's not super sweet, but it's enough to kind of cut the sweet tooth. Um, but I also, I like to have some grape tomatoes, um, different fruits. I really need to be better. I need to go back to this to some extent. I need to be better to pairing a fruit or a vegetable and some sort of a, a protein of some sort, something with a little more steak power. Um, but to be honest, I really haven't eaten a lot of snacks lately. Um, I've been focusing more on the meals and not so much on the snacks. Um, do you have a pet? If so, what kind? Um, 
The ironic thing is part of this is still true. At the time I answered, I, I said I have two dogs, a Mutt, she's a Schnauzer Terrier mix, and a Bichon Frise. I still have the Bichon. Y'all have seen him in the videos. Um, my little bow. And then I still have a Terrier mix. Um, only it's a he now, and his name is Freddy. Um... We at one point had four dogs, but whole other story. Um, which three material possessions would you struggle to live without? At the time, it was my droid, my iPod, computer, Kindle Fire, and my sneakers. Um, so more than three. Um, I think now it would definitely be my phone. Um, although I might be able to alternate between my phone and my Kindle Fire. I'm not my Kindle Fire, my um, iPad mini. Um, I think my, my phone, my iPad mini, and my computer kind of all, I could do most of the same things on any of those. I prefer to have all three of them, but um, but definitely like my sneakers and probably my Bible, to be honest. Um, okay. What's your favorite drink normally? And the same is, was true then is true now. Um, water. And if I need a change of pace, I like the true lemon, um, in my water now, um, I still have my water. Um, I do still like the True Lemon or True Lime um, products. I still like those and I still will put those in my water occasionally. Um, I also will sometimes do some strawberry and a lemon. Sometimes I'll just do a lemon. Um, it just kind of depends on what I'm in the mood for. I feel like I may change the pace up a little bit maybe next week and I may do an orange because I think I've still got an orange in the fridge that I need to use okay um so as far as who I'm gonna tag um and like I said I'm gonna change these questions up and I will put them below my video um but as far as who I'm gonna tag I'm going to tag Kim over at a girl on her phone and I'm going to tag Robbie over at Freaky Fit Wolf. Um, and like I said, I'll list the questions, but I will list them kind of as I'm changing them because now more of us are vlogging versus blogging. Um, so I'm going to change that one up. But I look forward to hearing everybody's answers. I look forward to seeing who everybody else tags. I just, I think it's something fun for us all to do right now while things are, you know, a little, a little weird and trying to come up with a new normal. Anyway, have a great day, y'all. 